What's going on everybody, it's Cody. And uh, the video that I'm about to share with you, I was on my way, I was walking downtown on my way somewhere, and uh, there was a homeless guy that asked for some change. So I gave him a little change I had in my, um, I had in the side of my door. And uh, before he left, I asked, he, went, he was on his way to a shelter. So before he left, I asked him, you know, how was his body, he had anything going on? He said, yeah, he got bad feet. I ain't got bad feet. What's the matter with your feet? He said, oh, I got blisters. And I could actually see the blisters coming around the back of his heels. Like, it looked, it looked pretty bad, right? But I'm like, okay, well, will you let me pray for you? He's like, yeah, sure, sure. So that's the video you're about to see. And in the video, um, well, I'll let the video explain itself, all right? And I'll pick up after the video. Anthony, uh, we're here with his Cody, we're here with Anthony, and Anthony has blisters on his feet, his feet are in pain. So Anthony, what is the level of your pain, one to ten? Uh, ah, you know what I'm saying? Being honest. Uh, seven. Like a seven. Okay. Now, you got the blisters and they're open sores, so I don't even want to agitate it, so I'm going to hold your hand. Okay. Alright? Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Anthony, we know you love him and that you do not want Anthony in pain. So right now, I speak to the blessedness. I command his feet to be healed right now in Jesus' name. All pain, I command you to go now in Jesus' name. Heal. All right? Now, Anthony, I want you to be honored. I want you to feel around and tell me how they feel. Be 100% honored for me. Is it still a seven? Now, what's the number? Uh, Don't be nice to me, Anthony. I gotta be honest. Though. Yes, absolutely. Be honest. Like a four, four and a half. Let's go again. Yes, See, here's the thing, Anthony. <laughs> Jesus, when he prayed for a man that was blind, yes. he prayed for him the first time. He said, "I see people like trees." That's right. Second time he prayed for him, he said, "Oh, everything's clear now." Right. So we're gonna go in again, Anthony, if you don't mind. I mean, you you felt to go from right. a seven right. to a four, right. four and a half, right? But Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in Anthony's life right now. Right now, I speak to his feet. I command you to be healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Pain, I command you to go now in Jesus' name. Anthony, you are loosed from your infirmity right now in Jesus' name. All right, Anthony. Now, I want you to feel it again. Feel around for it. Just be 100% honest. It's still a four and a half? Good, 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 good. Absolutely. Well, Anthony, I know God is a healer. Jesus loves you. I don't know if you have a relationship with him or not, but he loves you. He came, he died for our sins, and not only died for our sins, but by his stripes. On the way to the cross, he was whipped, and by those stripes, yeah. we're healed. Yeah. And that's yeah. what scripture says. We're just moving you into that. It went from a seven to a full four and a half, right? Yeah. So something is happening. I would like to see an immediate thing right now. But, no, 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 that's your faith, that's fine, but, you know what I mean, God's faith is, it can happen right here, right now, if it doesn't, that's all, you know what I mean, that's all me catching up, you know what I mean, but I believe that, I've seen people that have prayed for them, and an hour later, they were good, I, they, walk, I walked, they walked away, I didn't see no results, but an hour later, two hours later, I see them again, like, oh, time you left, it was good, you know what I mean, so, Something happened. God yeah. touched you right now. And see, it's still going down, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, so just yeah. hold on to that, Anthony. Step all right? Well, Jesus loves you. Thank you for Be blessed. So we'll see there in the video. Um, by the time we stopped, it was still four and a half. But before he walked away, he had still felt it gradually going down. You know, um, again, I, like I always tell my son, my faith is for immediate then that immediate encompasses everything under it. You know, so if my faith was for two days from now, he'll be healed, then, you know what I mean? God's gonna hold me to that. And that may be grace where he might not some, in some instances, but, you know, for whatever reason, but he's gonna hold me to my, where my faith is. And my faith is for immediate. And if it doesn't meet that immediate, then anything under that can happen. But um, I've had a, plenty of instances where by the time I finished praying, I didn't see results. And then later on, it's like, oh yeah, it, it's gone. You know, um, one of my one of my friends slash brother, for instance, praying for his wife, and uh, prayed for her like six times, and uh, there was no results, no results, no results. I'm like, okay. So we just start talking about the word of God, and uh, 
you know, and then I gave me a tour of his house. He gave me a tour of his house and everything. And that was about an hour, hour and a half that we were there chilling and talking. By the time we, be right as I go to the door, I'm like, oh, so tell me how your back is. He's like, oh, the pain is gone. The pain is gone. You know, so Jesus said, and I didn't even check the guy's blisters uh, as he walked away. But one thing that Jesus said, this is important, is if you believe, you shall see. You know, a lot of times we want to be like Thomas. We want to see it in order to believe it. But Jesus said, if you believe, you shall see, when he was talking to uh, the sisters of Lazarus. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share this video. I hope it was an encouragement and a blessing to you, you know, to, you know, to walk like Christ, take risks, step out there, and, and just be able to love on people and uh, show concern and, and, may, and be genuine with it, you know. Um, and on the way where I was going downtown, there was a security guard that uh, I, had, I had always seen, but I never really address them in this way. I always be cordial with him. And uh, so I asked him like, what was going on with him. You know, he said uh, he was in an accident and uh, he gets back pain real bad. He had just come back from the hospital a couple of days ago. And all they're going to do is give him medicine. But he's like, the medicine don't work. It don't heal me. So it's just whatever. So um, and I'm paraphrasing. So he didn't have pain at the time. Usually when I pray for people, um, the pain is there so we can see what's going on right then and there but he didn't have pain so I'm like you know we're gonna pray for you anyway um, he steps from behind the guard booth put my hand on the area speak to it as, as normal uh, take authority over it command it and uh, when I'm done you know sometimes I feel little tingles in the tips of my fingers and the palm of my hand I don't feel it all the time like I didn't feel it for the homeless guy but I felt it for this guy here and it, the tingle is like, uh, like imagine, uh, you know, the little electricity globe where you put your hand on it and all the electricity goes to your fingers and it tracks it like that. It felt like that would feel very light. And uh, so I asked him like, oh, so, OK, so just by chance, did you feel anything? He said, yeah, man, it's funny you should say that because at, right after you were finished, I felt something going like this in my back right after you was finished. And, I mean, you know, I just shared, you know, what the Lord is doing and uh just gave him encouragement on how to keep that healing. You know what I mean? Because, again, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So, again, I hope this video, this video has been a blessing to you. All right? Till next time.